Hi, second grade superstars. It's Miss B signing in again. Welcome to week one, lesson five. I know we're all super excited to learn, so let's go ahead and get started. Do you know why we learn to read? We learn to read. We learn to read. Do you know why we learn to read? It's a great question indeed. Do you know why we learn to spell? We learn to spell. We learn to spell. Do you know why we learn to spell? Let's come together and tell. All right, second graders, let's go ahead and discuss our learning target for today. I can read words using what I know about the spelling patterns with consonant LE syllable type ending, words with K, CK, and IC endings, words with D, G, E, and G, E endings, and the magic E rule when adding vowel suffixes. All of this information we already know, so this will be a little bit of a review for us today. Let's start with rules for spelling words with consonant LE spelling patterns. If you have an open syllable and you add the consonant LE ending, there isn't going to be a double consonant, such as in the words cable and staple. However, you have a closed syllable and you add the consonant LE ending, you're going to double the consonant, such as in the words little and topple. Remember guys, an open syllable refers to a syllable that ends with a vowel sound. Notice in the word cable, if we were to break it up into syllable sounds, K, bo, K, the first syllable, ends with a vowel sound, the A sound, long A to be exact. However, a closed syllable, such as in the word little, if we were to break it up into syllable sounds, lit, to, lit, the first syllable, ends with a consonant, which closes it. Now, let's look at some examples for rules of spelling words with a consonant LE spelling pattern. Bubble. Uncle, puddle, sniffle, giggle, simple, little, and puzzle. Notice how all of these words follow the rule for spelling words with the consonant LE spelling pattern. Okay, now let's explore the magic E rule for adding vowel suffixes. Specifically, we are going to look at the suffixes ing or ing. E-R, er, and E-D, ed. So if you have a magic E at the end of a word, you're going to stop and remember to jot. Let's look at our first example, the word bake. Notice how bake has an E at the end. To add a vowel suffix, we're going to drop the E and then add the suffix. Notice in the word baking, we've removed the E, dropped it, and we've added I-N-G, the vowel suffix. Let's look at our next example, baked. Again, drop the E, add the ED to make the word baked. Last but not least, baker, drop the E, add the ER vowel suffix. Now we have baker. Let's look at our next example of smile. Notice again, we've dropped the E and we've added our vowel suffixes for the words smiling, smiled, and smiler. The same thing with our last example of glide. Drop the E, add the vowel suffix ending. Gliding, glided, and glider. Let's explore the K, C, K, and I, C spelling pattern rules. K appears after a long vowel sound, like in the word make. Notice how the A in make says his name, which is a long vowel. K can also appear after an R control vowel, such as in the word park. Notice how the A is controlled by the R in park. K also can appear after the consonants L, N, and S, such as in the words think, talk, and ask. CK appears after a short vowel sound, like in the word stick. Notice how the I says the I sound, which is the short vowel sound. IC appears at the end of a multi-syllabic word, such as music. Notice how there are multiple syllables, music and music. DGE endings 
and GE ending rule. How do we know whether we choose DGE or GE as our ending? Well, GE appears after a long vowel sound or after the consonants L, N, and R. Examples of this rule are in the words page, change, bulge, and merge. Now, you'll plug in the DGE ending after a short vowel sound. Examples of this are in the words badge, ledge, bridge, and lot. Now let's review the EI and EU spelling patterns. First, I'm going to read a sentence. You can read along with me. Keith and Sheila, the sleuths, like weird books by Dr. Seuss. I'm going to highlight a few words for you. Let's look at Keith, Sheila, and also the word weird. Notice that those three words have the EI vowel team. Remember that E and I make the long vowel E sound, such as E. We see that or hear it in the words Keith, E, Sheila, E, and weird, E. All right, guys, now let's look at our second spelling pattern. We have the vowel team, E, U. All right, guys, let's look here. If I highlight, let's change the color. If I highlight the word Lutz and Seuss, notice that they both have the E, U spelling pattern. E and U together make the sound, ooh. We can hear it in sleuth, ooh, and soup, ooh. It's time to spell in the code to show what we're learning. It's time to spell in the code to show what we've learned. That wonderfully sung transition song means it's time for us to move into today's activity. I need you to turn to page 25 in your distance learning packet. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a huge surprise for you guys today. So this week we've been reading the decodable, the huge package. And we know that dad ordered this mysterious package and Sam is trying desperately to figure out what's inside the box. Well guys, I know what's inside the box. So after we complete today's activities, we're gonna go ahead and figure out what's in the huge package. Okay, second grade superstars. Today's student activity can be found on page 25 in your distance learning packet. Your first activity for today is a word search. You are going to find the words with the DGE, GE, and EI spelling patterns in the word search puzzle. The words actually appear in a word list on the right-hand side of the puzzle. Now notice that the words, they can be forward or down. So it might get a little tricky for you, but I'm confident you guys will be able to figure it out. Lastly, you're gonna write four sentences using the words in the list. See if you can write at least one sentence that may have more than one word with the DGE, GE, and EI spelling pattern. All right, guys, go ahead and get started. Our second student activity for today is called Sentence Builders. You're specifically looking at words with the DGE, GE, and EI spelling patterns. All right, guys, you have a word bank at the very top of the assignment, and then you have seven sentences. First, I want you to read all of the words in the word bank. In fact, let's do it together. Change, age, hedge, ceiling, fudge, judge, and wedge. Notice that all of these words have DGE, GE, or EI within them. All right, guys, so your seven sentences, I'll read each sentence for you. Then I want you to plug in the word that makes sense in the sentence. All right, listen to me read. And remember, you can pause this video at any time or rewind if you need to hear me read it again. Number one, the door keeps closing. You can put a blank under it to keep it open. Which word fits there? All right, number two, I love to have some ice cream with hot blank tonight. Number three, Marge and Keith are both seven years old. They are the same blank. 
Number four, your socks are all wet for jumping in the puddle. You need to blank them. Number five, who will blank the competition this year? Number six, look up there. Do you see a crack in the blank? Last but not least, number seven, I think I see the leaves moving in that big blank over there. All right, kiddos, go ahead and fill in those blanks. All right, second graders, like I told you, it's time to now figure out what was in the huge package. Hey, there's dad. Maybe he's going to tell us. Sam, asked dad. I've been thinking a lot lately about the big bike race to the bridge. It's coming up soon, you know. Sam looked at dad sadly. I know, he replied. I've been thinking about it too. I really wish I were able to be a part of it this year. A lot of my friends are going to be racing. Dad smiled at Sam. Well, he said, I'm glad you feel that way. Do you remember the huge package I received last week? Sam nodded and started to slowly smile. He knew what dad was about to say. It just so happens that package has a bike in it, said dad. And guess what? The bike is for you. Sam leaped up quickly and gave his dad a huge hug. Can we open it and put it together now? He asked. I think that's possible, laughed Dad. Let's go. So we know that the contents of the huge package was a bike for Sam. Second graders, you've been absolute superstars today. Thank you for learning with me. I look forward to teaching you again soon, like next week. All right, I have two reminders for you. The first, Read 20 minutes and complete a reading log entry. Remember that the reading log is located at the front of your distance learning packet. Also guys, remember to practice those high frequency words. There's also a high frequency word list, especially for second grade, also located in the front of your packet. All right guys, this is Ms. B signing off. Have a great day.